Made it to Seoul. Fruit? I believe there's. So, in today's video, what we want to do is we want to bring you along and show you what we do to try to minimize the effects of travel, including that dreaded jet lag. It is super important to stay hydrated while you travel. It's super easy to kind of lose track of that just because you're not really moving your body much, but you are for sure still getting dehydrated, so drinking a lot of water is key. I usually try to challenge myself to drink a full bottle by the time the flight lands. I'm not quite as good with it, but I'm trying to be better. So the first leg of this journey is a real short one. We're just going from Minneapolis to Las Vegas. Here we go. Um, by the way, this is our first time traveling in like one month. You can't tell because of the vid videos, but first time in an airplane in a month. Feels like a long time. <sighs> Made it to Las Vegas here. Now, this was quite a short travel day. It will continue on, not to worry, but we are making a brief stop here to spend the night in this nice hotel, get a good night's rest before we continue our journey tomorrow. I think the plan for now is I've never been to Las Vegas before, so we're gonna go make our way down to the Strip, I think is what they call it, and maybe get like a picture, maybe grab some food, something like that. But anyway, we're here in Las Vegas for the night. All right, Meg, you've been to Vegas. Do you think it's my style? Absolutely not. <laughs> But well, we're gonna go enjoy it anyway. We're gonna go find out. Made it. Walking on the strip. On the strip. All right, made it back from the Las Vegas strip. It was kind of what I expected. Um, maybe not quite my scene, but it was still really cool to see some of the hotel hotels and stuff like that. That is it for today. We will pick this up tomorrow morning. 4.30 a.m. Let's go back to the airport. So made it to the airport on the note of kind of building off of what we talked about with hydration yesterday. I'm drinking my new thing, which I just learned about two weeks ago, and it's a chai tea latte. I don't drink coffee, so this is this is what I'm I'm vibing right now. But anyway, um, we got some breakfast sandwiches, and really we want to when whenever we're traveling, we try our best to always stay well fed, just like we said with hydration. It's really important um, to try to get some protein in, as well as it just kind of takes the edge off, makes traveling a little less stressful. So, even though it's early, we're getting our food in because we just don't really know when our next meal is going to be. All right, so this is the first of three flights that we're going to have in a row, which the nice part about this travel schedule is that our layovers are super, super short. So it really cuts down the travel time compared to what we had the first time going across the world. But on a negative, we're gonna be basically in a plane for the next 24 hours. In a plane or in an airport? Yeah, Meg just mentioned, she's like, can you believe we're not gonna go outside for a whole day? Um, and that's basically, that's basically what it's going to be. So um, it'll be a good challenge to try to keep our bodies moving and keep them feeling good. Thank you. Thank you. I've never gotten on a plane where there's no line. <laughs> Look at how empty this flight is. There's like nobody in this flight. This is by far the most empty flight I've ever been on. 
Made it to Seattle, little two hour jaunt. Now we have about a three hour layover before we get on our next flight. <sighs> My instruction was healthy snacks. So here we go. Dried fruit. I believe there's peaches, apples, and something else that I don't know. Just regular salted peanuts. And then I got us a protein cookie to share. <laughs> I know it's silly to share it, but ah, it's already a lot of stuff. Looks pretty good. Nice job, Meg. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna get a little stretching in. We got about 45 minutes until we board, and this next flight is gonna be 11 hours, leading into another seven hour flight with only a 55 minute layover. So we gotta get the body stretched out a little bit and um, just kind of get the hips loosened up mostly, being that we're gonna be sitting for the next, like literally 18 hours. I wanted to do that. Now his friend and him are talking about doing Kilimanjaro and Tiger. Meg, how good that stretch feel? Amazing. I can't believe that like no one else stretches before an 11 hour flight, but I'll be the weird, per weird person in the airport, I don't mind. You know, it is a little weird stretching, but honestly, if. It's one of my favorite tips to tell people is to stretch because it feels so, so good um, to just get the, especially the hips and the low back from sitting so much. It, it honestly feels amazing. Okay, so for this long travel day, I am trying something new. I have these fancy new compression socks. Um, I've heard great things about compression socks. Last time we had a really long flight, um, my ankle swelled up to sausages. So I'm gonna see if this helps uh, blood flow so that way I can move my ankles after this flight. Okay, so new airline review. We are flying Korean Air, which is associated with Delta. So we have high hopes. Comes with a little pillow, little back support, lumbar, blanket, fairly standard. I'm excited about this little bag though, because toothbrush, so I can brush my teeth on the plane, which embarrassingly we don't usually do, which is disgusting. And then, Slippers, which I'm actually gonna use too because I want to take off these hiking boots. So, well done at Korean Air with the amenities. <laughs> Enjoy your flight. Let's go, job on the food Korean air. Great place to come back and do some calf raises. In all seriousness though, calf raises can really help the inflammation in your legs. Come back, do about 50 calf raises. made it to Seoul 11 hours later. Too bad we can't stay here longer, but we gotta hustle to our next flight, which leaves in like 45 minutes. I think it might even be already boarding, so on to the next one. So our flight to Bali actually got delayed a little bit, which I would be somewhat normally annoyed but now I can stretch again and we can just be off the plane for a bit. 
I don't think it's going to be delayed for long. <laughs> this next flight is going to be seven hours, where the last one was 11. But then we're in Bali. Final destination. Look at Meg. She's sleeping. Just passed out. Last leg. I'm ready. We're ready. All right, made it to Bali. Back again. Now to go find our favorite driver. <laughs> we love this guy. Hey. Welcome back to Bali. Thank you. How good are you? to see you. Good. good to see you again. Good. Let me help you. Okay. Good. Thank you. Have Thanks a good flight. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Gonna have to get used to that humidity again. When we came here last time, it felt nice in Bali because we were coming out of super humid temperatures. Now we're coming from like cool Minnesota fall. Gotta be readjusting again. I'm just wet. I'm already wet. The Yankees. <laughs> Change my style. <laughs> Change your style. Yeah. We weren't we weren't gone that long. Good morning, everybody from Bali. Now to pick up where we left off yesterday. If you're gonna listen to anything that we've said in this video about keeping your body um, physically prepared for travel listen to what we're going to do today. The day after you're done traveling, especially with this big time difference, is the most important. For us, what kind of resets our internal clock is getting up and getting a workout in. Now, we only got a few hours of sleep last night, but it's crucial for us that we get up right away, we get our workout in, and get after it. Because for us, that really kind of resets like I said, that internal clock, and really kind of helps us get on the time zone here. Oh, it's good to be back walking the streets of Bali. These streets have a weird way of making you like them, even though they smell and they're super chaotic. Missed it. All right, folks, that is it for today's video. We got our workout in. I will say the grind is not over. We are still going to be putting in the effort to try to shake the jet lag, but hopefully this video helped you, give you some things to think about when you're traveling for a long distance. Yeah, it's like 127 right now. We need to try to stay up until like 7 p.m. I think that'll yeah. be basically on the schedule, so. I think that's it, to, clo to close it out. Yeah. Drink a lot of water, stretch, and get your workout in for sure. um, and that will that will that will help cure a lot of the physical um, elements that come with traveling yeah that being said we'll see you in the next video join us in our next video where we show you what it's like to train at wonderless fitness village this place was key in helping us stay in shape while traveling wonderless fitness village is situated on the beautiful island of bali indonesia Equipped with all of your fitness needs, including a lap pool, cold tubs, and much, much more. Make sure you subscribe to find out what this place is all about.